Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another special shot of anime on draft. Just because. Woo! I am your host, Rolando, joined by my lovely co host, Alec. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Bringing it back. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back with the. With I don't the white, say vans. white vans. But I mean, you kind of have to say it. You kind of do. Um, <laughs> so, Alec. The past mm-hmm. few episodes of Just Because have been pretty interesting, have they not? They have. They've been a little lit. Um, you could say. Yes. <laughs> ha ha. Um, just because. Just because. <laughs> so, in general, now that we've kind of seen more of both Komiya and Natsume, um, do you have a, you know, preference of of the two which one you're kind of rooting for or not or i think i'm rooting for komia more than natsume just because (laughs) (laughs) um probably because she's just more honest um the other thing i've noticed about uh natsume is she's just so fickle because first it's soma and now it's um what's his name Eta, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and but she's all like, Oh, I don't know, I have the exams and blah 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 blah. But um just because of like the personality of uh Komia, I think I'm rooting for her mainly. <clears throat> it also helps that she's had more development until a couple recent episodes. <laughs> But she's had more development than Natsume in terms of like, because all we really knew about her was she liked Soma and she was taking a test. Yeah. And so they're like kind of going over her a little more. So maybe my opinion will change. But as of right now, like the Komi is a go getter and she's funny. And I'm kind of rooting for her because the relationship between her and Ata just seems to be more genuine because she seems like it seems like her interest in him has grown Because of her interactions with him, which is more like conducive to a like a a working relationship, I guess, you know, just because um, like, you know, they're building a relationship. Whereas like Natsume just seems so fickle, like she's just bouncing around. She's like, oh, well, Soma didn't work. I guess I didn't really like him as one side in any ways. Oh, but I guess I like this guy because he always does stuff for me. And it's just like, blah. I don't like your, your reasoning, like with the way it she make they make it seem in the episode. So, anyways, long winded answer, but that's who I'm rooting for, and kind of the reasons why. So, would you say that episode nine really helped you seal the deal with Komia? Was the most recent one episode nine? Yeah, where she, you know, right? They're kind of <clears throat> awkward post. I like you. Um, oh, uh huh. Yeah. Interactions where she was kind of like running away, embarrassed and. And, all that stuff. <laughs> and they're like peeking around the corner. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it helped her case. I don't think it solidified her because I think some of like the things they showed about Komia or Natsume helped her a little bit, but I'm still pretty firmly planted in the <laughs> Komia side because like Komi is a quirky character that we don't get to see very often. Like when she goes to the convenience store, when he's making, taking a run, she's like, don't get it the wrong idea. This isn't a, co- this isn't a coincidence. It's an ambush. Like, yeah. that's just hilarious. That's super funny. Like they, ne- no, no anime characters ever do that, but like, she's just being honest and the character fits her, you know, like as a fun loving, you know, younger or one year younger, like person or whatever. Um, That's the other thing. Like, she is also more carefree than Natsume, so it's probably easier for her to, you know, be have that focus on one thing. But she's also got the photography. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I already talked about all that. But yeah, no, I mean, it's it's kind of bringing Natsume up, but I'm still pretty firmly planted in the Komia swing of things. What about you? Do you have a uh, preference one way or the other? Still no, but I mean. It's kind of hard not to root for <clears throat> Komia when, like, especially with episode, at both episodes eight and nine have kind mm-hmm. of showed her cute side, and so right. I thought it was really, it was really funny when they were at the shoe lockers and then they both did the exact same thing, like Peeking hiding behind the, the pillar <laughs> and then they both peeked. Yeah, 
I thought it was like when they did a really good job of showing like like the cute kind of innocent um I guess you'd say romance that is kind mm-hmm. of sparking and he still hasn't changed right. his phone screensaver or I mean his phone no, he hasn't. background which he, he got changed. because she changed it and he doesn't know how to change it back. Well, I call bullshit. <laughs> which I found really funny. I call funny. fucking bullshit on that because yeah, it's like you flirting. have to know that Google exists. <laughs> yeah. Be you like, know? well, he probably would have Googled it and then was like, well, I'm busy and then forgot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to allow that as an excuse. Um, okay. <laughs> there, there's probably some sort of hidden like attachment that he could be seeing. So Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put it past them to use a bullshit excuse like that, but I, I don't want it to be that, but I mean, Comey has really shown like this endearing side that you kind of go like, Oh man, I want to root for this character. But at Mm -hmm. the same time, what they're showing a a lot of is a lot of like a very innocent first love type Mm kind of stuff. So where I'm afraid this is going to go and this kind of leads into our next topic for just because is, you know, kind of where we think it's going um, from here on out where I kind of think it's going is it's going to be like a first, it's going to be her first love and it's going to be kind of like a bittersweet, like she, she'll be heartbroken, but like get over it. And like, you know, like maybe she, so like she'll win Maybe she'll win the photo competition and finally confesses, like, I guess in truth, confesses to him. But I think um, Ata's still going to, you know, turn her down for uh, for Natsume. And right. I mean, Natsume has started to get development and it makes sense because there's only like three episodes left. So they need <laughs> right. to, you know, flesh out her, her arc. Otherwise, it's not mm-hmm. going to make sense. But she did like finally admit that she likes someone. And mm-hmm. I mean, in it's obvious to us that the person she likes is, is Ata. So I'm interested to see where it goes from here, especially because now she's switching her entrance exam to the university. He got a recommendation to, and he's still studying to get, take the entrance exam to the <clears throat> university. She said she was going to take. So mm-hmm. I don't know if yeah, they're planning on be a shit not show. ever discussing this and then they just, you know, cross paths once again and it's just like one of those things. Like I could see it going that and way. She and goes to it, a better school and he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. So I I don't know. But personally, I would like to see something different, whether that's um, you know, them going like either so I, I see it two ways that I want to see. So if, if not is going to be the winner, like there has to be something that happens, whether like, I don't want the cliche. Oh, we didn't know we took the test to each other's schools or whatever. And then they meet later in life or some bullshit like that. Like that's, I fucking hate that shit. Um, I want it to be something that happens now. So, like, she has to do something, like, whether it's, like, something Valentine's related where she finally confesses or something like that. But the way I kind of was inclined towards was Komia winning. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But, like, Natsume does confess her feelings, but then, you know, gets turned down. And then, like, it's... She's kind of, like, the person that's accepted, like her unrequited loves, you know? So, and it's kind of like both of their loves were for each other. Like both Eita and Natsume kind of had like a, like a spark between them that like kind of is rekindled, but who knows if that's actually like going to lead to something or whether it's just Mm -hmm. like a rekindling of like a innocent puppy love type deal. Mm -hmm. Right. I I, kind of, I want to see, um, I think the the Natsume winning in the end would just be the typical what you expect kind of boring to me. Um, I also don't want to see the, oh, hey, I went to this school. You went to that school because 
I'm going to say this right now. It's stupid to make a major decision of your life based off of somebody else, especially when you don't talk to them yeah. about that decision. That's like that's terrible. stupid. If you're going to make a decision based off someone else, at least have full information yeah. before doing so or as full information as you possibly can. Cause like if he goes to this school, it's going to be a completely different life experience than if he goes to the anyways, <clears throat> don't do it kiddos. <laughs> um, but I would rather see like more become of Komia and Ata's relationship. And I do get that feeling where it's kind of that, you know, first love, um, more of an infatuation than an actual like feeling of love that she's going to have for him. But I would rather see something more come of it from his side, which leads to more from her side being less of that, like innocent infatuation and actual like relationship kind of deal and rather see that go somewhere than and have not to make kind of like confess. And then he's going to be like, well, honestly, like I've been one sided this whole time. I just accepted it, you know, and I don't think that's where I want it. You know, that sort of kind of yeah. conversation. And he's like, after being, you know, talking with Comey and having this go this way, I've realized X. I would rather have it go that kind of direction. Kind of like how it went with her and Soma, even though he they never talked. But you know how... She kind of just accepted She got it. over it. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'd rather see that from him and then have him go to his... where Whatever he's going to do. Whether he goes to his number one school... <laughs> that he got the recommendation for or the other for whatever reason, because he's putting a lot of effort. So that's kind of where I'd like to see it go. I, I think it would be more satisfying that way. And there would be more to the story personally. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we kind of agree on, on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Not um, the typical, please. <laughs> unfortunately, this is like a 12 episode series. So we don't get to see some of the other characters, the side characters fleshed out, even though there are a lot of yeah. good side characters in this show. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. um but i mean as is it's the typical <clears throat> one one shot type anime that mm -hmm. uh will probably 12 episodes just be hopefully remembered fondly if they don't fuck it up but yeah anyways. i mean in the end we i can't hate it even if they go the way i expect it to i'll just be less satisfied with it than if yeah, it had it'll like probably mark. get a lower rating for me and be like meh you just be like mark with true tears <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> well anyways um i would like to mention before we head out that we are very appreciative for everyone that's been that has listened to our ancient magus bride short shot whatever we're shot. we're gonna call them shots now it's, yes it's just easier because the parenthesis our parenthesis is a pain to type <laughs> but uh, as of now, I've seen 106 <laughs> listens on SoundCloud. So it's yeah. very much appreciated that you guys are out there listening. And um, if thank you, you want you. more content like this, then uh, we will bring it to you. Yes, we will. Any last <laughs> words? Uh, no, thank you as well. And everybody enjoy the shows to come. All right. Bye-bye. Later.